what's up YouTube, it's EG the Boss, and today what we have for you guys is a Cat 40 nuked out by the homie Nasty. This is a part of the nuked out series with every gun we got going on. You know, he just does work, that's what he's supposed to do, gets nukes out like it's nothing. But, check his channel out if you want to see more of Beast gameplays from this guy. His link will definitely be in the description. He just got good stuff, that's all I can say. But what I want to talk about... Is E3 the Sony the Sony E3 conference? Now I can't really talk about the other conferences because I didn't get to catch them. I actually wasn't at my house when the, uh, they occurred. So the one I did manage to catch or watch was the Sony press conference. And you know I was I was kind of impressed. You know I did hear Xbox Xbox One is doing backwards compa compatibility, and so you'll be able to play games like MW2. Um, Black Ops 2, Modern Warfare 3, I think, and very, various other games, Red Dead Redemption, um, what else, Mass Effect 3, a lot of other games you'll be able to play on it just by inserting the disc inside your Xbox One. So, I did hear that happen, and that's pretty good for Xbox, for Xbox, man, for Microsoft. That's gonna get a lot of people in it, or back in it, you know, maybe a lot of people get an Xbox One just so they could play those games on next gen. I don't know personally like I wouldn't get an Xbox one just for that but that's just me you know what I'm saying like I'm not the type to just spend like what four hundred dollars on a game system especially if I already have something like if I already have a PS4 I'm not gonna go and spend another four hundred dollars on an Xbox one just so I could play old games on my Xbox one you know what I'm saying I, I feel like that's a waste of money but, you know, a lot of people might do that. A lot of people might have really liked those old games for Xbox 360. And they've always wanted to play them on Xbox One. Now, if they did that for PS4, then, I, then I'd hop on that. I have a PS4. I still got my MW3 disc. I still got my Black Ops 2 disc. So, if they had backwards com compatibility like that on PS4, I'd definitely, you know, I'd be fine with that. That'd be perfect, in my opinion. But I think PS4 has something else. I don't remember what it was where you could play old games on it. But like you had to, you could only have like a certain number of days where you could play it. But it was something like that. I don't quite remember. But yeah, back to what I was saying. So the Sony E3 conference. Now I know a lot of you guys probably interested in the Black Ops 3 information they revealed. Apparently, I guess Activision has a deal with Sony now instead of Xbox or Microsoft. And a lot of the DLC will come out first on PS4 and uh, what else? Oh yeah, I think, I don't know if they're going to have MOG events on PS4 now. I, I don't see them. I mean, I guess they might change it to PS4 now. I just, I don't know. I just don't see them changing it like that. Like, I can see all the DLC coming coming out first for it. The beta access coming out first for it. But to have the whole MOG circuit, like, move to PS4. I don't know. That's crazy. That's a little crazy to me. But it might happen. I don't know. I don't really care. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't really care that. Black Ops 3 now has exclusively released content for PS4 first or whatever. Like, to me, that's that's never mattered to me. I've never been one to really get the DLC. So, getting the DLC first doesn't matter to me. Even having beta access first doesn't matter to me. Because it's, it's still going to depend on how good the game is for me. Whether it's on PS4 or Xbox One. You know, if the game's bad, it doesn't matter who gets content on it first. But that's just my opinion. I know a lot of people are, like, upset for whatever reason. That Black Ops 3 content is coming out first on PS4. I know a lot of Xbox people were upset. And I was like, why? Like, unless you're buying DLC, just because you get it a bit earlier than the other console. Like, shouldn't really play on your mind. Like, it shouldn't really affect your mind that much. Like, it shouldn't hurt you that bad. But, I don't know. That's just me. But a lot of other games were uh, showcased too. Like... They're remaking Final Fantasy 7, which I'm excited for. I'll probably get that to be real. And it's just going to look beautiful. It looks great. There were some games I wasn't truly interested in. Like, they had some kind of mini Final Fantasy or whatever. I don't know. It looks like something for kids. They also had um Hitman, an another Hitman. I don't know. That, that doesn't seem bad. Like, I'm not really too interested in Hitman. I remember watching the movie, and I thought the movie was terrible. But I, I guess the games are okay. I'm not sure. I've never really played a Hitman game. They also showcase um, something with the new Batman game. The Batman Arkham Knight game. They're going to have Scarecrow Nightmare Missions. That looks cool. Uh, that looks cool. I think I'm going to get the new Batman game. I don't know. But I'm scheming on it. I'm thinking about it. I'm planning. 
But I, I, and then the last Guardian, I'm actually excited for that because I remember when they first announced it years ago, and everybody was hyped, and it just never came out. It was supposed to be on PS3, and the graphics even for PS3 were amazing, and it was supposed to be out, and it never did. It never came out, so now we get it. Now it's coming out. But those are just a couple games I'm interested in seeing. Um, tell me what you guys think. What you guys think about the conference? I'm to the boss. I'm out. Peace.